6.1, question number 6. It is given that angle x, y, z is equal to 64 degree and x, y is produced to point P. Draw a figure from the given information. If ray y cube bisects angle z, y, p, find angle x, y, q and reflex angle q, y, p. Question skip says, it says that angle x, y, z is equal to 64 angle. x, y, z is equal to 64 degree. And ray y, q bisects angle z y p you can see y q is an arm you know, which biset the angle z y p so that means it means angle z y q is equal to angle q y y q is biset angle z y p therefore angle z y q is equal to angle q y p given angle x y z is equal to 64 degree um y q biset y q by sets angle z y p right to find is angle x y q find this angle x y q and reflex angle of angle q y p. angle x y reflex angle q y p so here I'm, it's given that x y is a line which produces to point p so that means x x to p is a straight line okay so the sum of the angles on the straight line is 180 degree right so now i can write angle x y x y z plus angle z y p since they are linear pair angle x y z is 64 degree angle z y p is equal to 180 degree and angle z y p if I transpose 64 degree to the right hand side, become minus. So 180 minus 64 degree. So here angle Z, Y, P is equal to 180 minus 64 is 116 degree. 116 degree. Okay, now. Since y cube, since y cube bisects angle z y p, z y p. Therefore, I can write angle z y q angle z y q is equal to angle q y p. Q Y P is equal to half of angle half of angle Z Y P Z Y P right so here now half of angle Z Y P is because you above Z Y P is equal to 116 degree so when you divide by two 116 you'll get 1 to 2 degree right now we got the answer for angle z y q so if we got the value for z y q and q y p okay now we need to find the flex angle Q Y P. So here now the flex angle Q Y P is equal to three sixty minus angle Q Y P. Okay. So here three sixty minus we got q y p value is hundred and twenty two so three sixty minus hundred and twenty two so we get three hundred and two degree so here we took three sixty degree minus angle q y p take y as a point so the degree at the point is three sixty degree so from the complete angle if you minus angle QYP 
Q minus angle Q at P. The remaining is the flex angle of Q by P. So look out here. Flex angle Q by P is 302, which is lies between 180 and 360. So the flex angle means angle which is more than 180 but less than 360 is called flex angle.